welcome to the Candle Business Coach Podcast, a show about the craft of candle making and small business. I'm your host, Kirsty Allen, and I'm a candle maker, mum of three, and kindness advocator. Join me as I dive into all things candles and small business and deliver advice and tips to you in episodes every Tuesday and Friday. Are you on the list to get my daily motivation emails? Every day I'll send you a message that is designed to help keep you focused on taking action toward your goals. Sign up using the link in the show notes. This episode is brought to you by my free ebook, The Candle Business Marketing Kickstarter Kit. Inside this free ebook, you'll learn to identify your blocks of time to dedicate to your candle business. Plus, there are several tips and tricks for re engaging past customers and attracting new customers into your business so you can grow your business and reach your goals. Check out the link in the show notes for your copy. Welcome back to the podcast, my friend. I hope you had a lovely weekend and are enjoying the start of winter if you're here in Australia or if you are listening from overseas. I hope that you're enjoying uh, the start of summer. Very jealous. I do enjoy warmer weather over the cold, but I do have to admit that I do like wearing my hoodie when it's cold and I'm actually wearing mine now because it's a bit chilly outside as I uh, record this episode. So in today's episode, I wanted to talk through something that a lot of beginner candle makers can't or don't necessarily necessarily have their head wrapped around and that is that there is a lot of math involved and that candle making is a scientific process rather than just simply pouring your fragrance oil and wax into a jar and hope you for the best. It requires a lot of measurements and calculations that determine the quantities you'll need for each ingredient and these formulas also ensure that each candle burns as expected without putting excessive or minimal amounts of fragrance oil and wax in your jar. So you will need some equipment to make candles, specifically to work out your calculations. You'll need your calculator, which you can just use on your phone, a a set of kitchen scales, and also, and this is important, a set of gram scales or ounce scales. You can buy these online from some of the bigger health food stores where you can measure out your proteins, but it's actually perfect for measuring out your fragrance oil because many of the kitchen scales won't be able to pick up the small increments that you'll need to measure for your fragrance oil. So this episode won't be too long, but you might need to listen to it a couple of times just to get your head wrapped around how the equation works. I will pop the equation and my example in the show notes of this episode as well, just to make it a little bit easier. And then I'll give you an even easier shortcut at the end of the episode as well to make sure you listen through to the end. So when making your jar or container candles, and that's what I'm referring to in this episode, you need to make sure you're measuring the fill weight, not necessarily the complete amount of liquid that can fit in the jar. So what I mean by that is, say you buy a 350 gram jar, and that is 350 grams of liquid to the brim. Now we know that we're making that when we're making candles, we don't fill the wax and the fragrance oil to the very top of the jar. We want to leave a little bit of a gap, and that's because when the wax is melting when you've lit the candle wick the wax expands and you don't want it to overflow and cause a big mess or become a safety hazard so say you've got a 350 gram jar but you want to fill it to 300 grams and that's combined wax and fragrance oil so that is our fill weight so the fill weight is 300 grams now in this example i'll be working off a 10 percent fragrance oil or 10 percent fragrance load but you can calculate it anywhere from between six and ten percent depending on the potent of the fragrance oil, what type of fragrance oil and what the manufacturer recommends as well. It also depends on what sort of outcome you're wanting from your candle, whether you're wanting a stronger scent throw or more of a subtle scent throw. So to work it out, we'll be doing our equation and this is how it works. So let's calculate it. So we need to work out the wax weight needed and the fragrance oil weight needed. So we need to know for this jar, this 300 gram jar that we want to fill to 300 grams we want to work out how much wax we need and how much fragrance oil we need so this is the equation to work out our wax weight needed we need to know what our net weight is divided by a hundred percent plus the fragrance oil percentage so in this example it's 110 percent because we're doing 10 percent fragrance oil and then to work out the fragrance oil weight needed it's the net weight minus the wax weight 
and then that will give us the fragrance oil weight. I hope I haven't confused you too much. Let's go into our examples so that you can uh, understand the process a little bit better. So we know that our net weight or our fill weight is 300 grams. So we can write this one down. We know that our fragrance oil load or our fragrance oil percentage that we want to work with is 10%. So this is the fragrance oil amount that we'll be testing in our candle. So the equation, <laughs> here we go. 300, which is our net weight, divided by 110% because we're doing 10% fragrance oil. If it was 8%, we would do divided by 108%. And that works out to be, if you work it out on your calculator, 300 divided by 110% is or equals 272.73 grams of wax. And that is how much wax you want to put in this particular jar. Let's work out the fragrance oil. Oh, and, I, and I can say, or I should say, that we can round up or down. So if we round down on the wax, we can round up slightly on the fragrance oil. Or if we uh, round up on the wax, we can round down slightly on the fragrance oil, just so that it's an even number rather than um, decimal places. Okay, so we know the wax that we need for this particular jar is 272.73. I'm going to just say it's 273. So the fragrance oil weight needed is the net weight, 300, minus the wax weight, 273, and that will give us 27 grams of fragrance oil. As I said before, I will put the equation and the example in the show notes just so it's a little bit more clearer. But I wanted you to understand that it's not just a matter of pouring fragrance oil in or measuring it with a measuring cup. We need to have these exact equations or these exact amounts to make sure that we're consistently producing reliable candles that are safe and perform as they should. Now, for that simple trick that I wanted to show you in regards to calculating the fragrance oil and the wax details or the equation you can actually download an app <laughs> yes there is an app for that it's called candle pal i've mentioned it a couple times on the podcast but you can simply download it from your app store i've got it on my phone here and you can either do grams or ounces so it does it is user friendly for around the world so i've put it the same equation as the example that i gave before so the wax fill weight is 300 grams the fragrance ratio is 10%. Number of vessels is one. I'm doing it in grams. Calculate. Yep, we've got 272, or we'd round up to 273 for the wax weight. And then we've got 27.27, which will just round down to 27 for the fragrance oil. Very, very simple to use. The benefit of the app, you can sign in. So you sign up and get an account, it's all free, and then you can save your results if you want to continue using the app or you can just write them down in your journal or your notebook. And you can also work out the burn time calculator as well. So you just follow the steps in the app to be able to figure that out. So a little bit confusing, I know, but I hope that that's helped you understand the importance that when we're working out the amount of wax and fragrance oil needed per jar or per vessel, or per container, depending on what you call it, uh, you need to be accurate and you need to be as um, smart about it as possible when working it out rather than just eyeballing it. Another thing I wanted to mention, uh, as I do, I mention things at the end of most episodes. So if you listen to the end of each episode, you'll know that there's like bonus information that comes through. Uh, tomorrow is actually my birthday. So yay, happy birthday to me. <laughs> but that said, I actually want to give you a gift. So what I've done is I've created a birthday week journal, which is a 12 page ebook, uh, totally free, where you can answer different questions and prompts to help you reflect on the year that's been and the year to come after your birthday. So if you would like a copy of the birthday week journal, all you need to do is send me a message on Instagram at Candle Business Coach. Just let me know that you've listened to the episode and that you want a copy of the birthday week journal and I'll send you the link so that you can download it. I just thought it would be fun just to give back to you, my beautiful listeners, and share a little bit of birthday joy and a bit of birthday excitement. So I hope that this episode has answered some questions in regards to calculating the fragrance oil and the wax weight needed for uh, different vessels. 
If you have any questions about this episode or need to understand the process a little bit more in depth, just let me know. Just send me a message on Instagram. As I said, you can find me at Candle Business Coach. And also just a reminder, if you haven't already, I would love to welcome you into my free Facebook group, Candle Business Hub. I will leave the link in the show notes below so you can click through and join the community. We have over 130 members since I launched the group last week, which totally blows my mind. But I'm so excited to welcome you into the group because I wanted to create something that was a community and has incredible candle makers that are so supportive and caring for one another. And it's definitely about that community and connection and collaboration over competition. So if you haven't already, I would love to include you in that group. So come on in, say hi, say hello to everyone, and then we can get you motivated, inspired, and get you focused on achieving your goals. So that's it for today's episode. I will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone for listening today. I hope this episode added value to your candle making journey. Check out the show notes for all the links mentioned throughout today's show and please subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss any future episodes. Thanks again for listening. Have a beautiful day.